Hello Capricorn, how are you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can contact me at claritygoddesstarot at gmail.com. Okay guys, everything you need to know about booking is below in the description box. All right, so let's get started. You all know this is a general message. It may or may not be your situation, okay? I highly encourage you to go ahead and book a personal reading if um, you need further clarity, okay, into your own specific uh, relationship or whatever it relates to. All right, so, uh, you know, it could be you or the other person here and just, you know, take what resonates. So over to the left in the past position, although some of you could be going through this now, we have the five of wands reverse. This is you coming out of conflict, okay? In the upright, this is about arguing, bickering, um, competition, you know, just uh, that kind of energy here, all right? But it's reversed, so you guys could have came out of that. Some of you may have been internally conflicted as well, though, okay, with this being reversed. Um, I don't know, maybe the connection was toxic because next we do have the devil card, all right? It's reversed, which is good, all right? This signifies coming out of this and releasing this energy, okay? But I think it was quite difficult for some of you, okay? The devil card is about addictions toxicity control issues um overindulgence just you know whatever something unhealthy here for some all right you could have been dealing with someone who was very selfish okay with that four of pentacles or this could have been you okay being this way but this is about someone being very guarded holding on to something too tightly as well maybe not opening up emotionally too and maybe a bit stubborn but you know, reverse, this is letting go, okay? So some of you could have let this go or this person, you know, could have let go of you. And we also have the Four of Cups. So this is about a missed opportunity as well as rejecting a love offer. So whether it was coming in from this person or other people, I feel that uh, many of you here just didn't want this anymore, okay? Or whatever this was. Now, let's come here into the center, which is the current energy. We've got the Eight of, not the Eight, but the uh, King of Cups, the Ten of Wands reversed, and also the High Priestess reversed, the Eight of Pentacles reversed, the Ten of Swords reversed, and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. So I do feel that you and this person do love each other, okay? With that King of Cups, you could be dealing with a Cancer or Scorpio or a Pisces. There is love here though, okay? Someone may actually be in love, all right? Others of you, maybe you just have feelings for them still. And we also have the Ten of Wands reversed. So this is... Uh, you know, I feel the connection has been a challenge. It has, all right? The the Ten of Wands is about burdens and um, someone having a lot on their plate or feeling like the connection was just heavy or difficult. And I feel that that could be being released here, all right? Getting over that and, you know, just kind of lightening the load here. And, you know, with the High Priestess reverse, this could signify secrets coming out. So some of you, this could have definitely been a third party situation, okay, or some type of uh, secrecy here that is being exposed or maybe left behind, okay, for some of you. This also can represent some of you maybe not using your intuition in regards to this person, okay? Maybe you're letting your uh, love or emotions overpower your logic here, all right? Or they could be doing this about you. But I see with the Eight of Pentacles, excuse me, you know, reverse, somebody does not want to build on this anymore, um, just feeling like it's kind of heavy here or difficult again with the Ten of Swords being reversed as well. This is about an ending, okay, but it's reversed. So I feel that again, somebody here is in love, even though this connection has been tough, maybe betrayal and backstabbing, hard lessons have had to be learned here. But the Ten of Swords in the reverse is about reconciling, healing the past, maybe feeling like you two have unfinished business even though right now you're not fully uh, engaging with this person or working to build on it again yet, okay? We also have the Queen of Pentacles reverse. So you could be dealing with another Earth sign, maybe another Capricorn, a Virgo, a Taurus, or whoever, okay? But somebody here is very selfish, maybe um, money hungry too, maybe that was an issue, or somebody is greedy or... Um, a uh, gold digger maybe is also what I'm seeing. This can represent instability within a home life or um, I'm seeing somewhere, I'm seeing here for some of you, a wife is just not happy, okay? Whether you're the wife or you're a husband and this is your wife, we're, you know, discussing here or again, somebody is on the outside, maybe it's a third party situation. I'm seeing discomfort, but love still. I hope that makes sense. All right, guys, now let's come up here to your energy up here at the top, okay? 
this is you here, them at the bottom, but this is a general message. Okay, you guys, so it could be switched around. That's why, you know, it is uh, helpful to get personal readings to go, you know, further into your own specific situation. So if you'd like to do so, again, go ahead and, uh, you know, email me now. We have for you, the ha we have the nine of pentacles, okay? So some of you may be single here, maybe even a little bit lonely, but overall the nine of pentacles is about someone being very independent, okay? Beautiful or handsome, attractive, standing on your own two feet, you know, even if you're raising your kids by yourself, some of you are doing what you have to do here, okay? But I do see an element of aloneness here, all right, you guys? And with the king of swords reversed, this is someone who can be a little bit cold and bitter here, maybe resentful and um, a bit emotionally detached, all right? Maybe not investing your time and effort into this person right now, or maybe you're sick of waiting on them as well with the Seven of Pentacles reversed, okay? But we have the Chariot reversed, so I think some of you are stuck on this person. You may not actually be putting in, putting in any effort currently, but you have not fully moved on either, okay? You could be dealing with a Cancer here. All right, and we also have the King of Wands, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarian energy, and this is about passion, okay? Maybe a lot of chemistry you and this person had, a lot of uh, great sex or, um, you know, some type of magnetizing connection I see you could have with this person. Maybe that's why it's so difficult to let go, okay, for some of you or to move forward because it was so strong, all right? But I do see that you still have passion for them. And I think that they did hurt you, though. I do, Cappy. I think I do see that there with the uh, Three of Swords being next. It's reversed, which is good. So I think that you are, you know, healing from this, okay? Or maybe, again, this is a third-party situation. Or at some point, they hurt your feelings or disrespected you or something here. Okay, keep in mind, guys, the Three of Swords does not always signify a third party or cheating. It could just be hurt feelings or offense or, again, disrespect. But... Uh, uh, I mean, you you are releasing that and this can represent reconciling, okay? So I think some of you are putting on a, a brave face or either um, a strong front here that you've, you know, moved on and you don't want to deal with this anymore, invest your time when in reality, you actually do still have feelings for them, okay? You do still have passion towards them and deep down, okay, with that three of swords reversed, Yes, they may have hurt you, but you still want to possibly heal this. All right. That won't resonate for everyone. Just take it if it does. Leave it if it doesn't. Okay. Now let's come down here to their energy. So they've got the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Actually, that is in the upright. Yeah. So this is them moving very slowly here. Um, very cautiously. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. So this is um, very cautionary energy and um, maybe apprehensive a little bit too, but I think they still want to come forward. They may not know how you are going to receive it, okay? If you're going to respond or not. We have the Queen of Wands reversed here too. So this is... Um, this can, I'm seeing this person may be a little bit frustrated. They may feel things are going too slowly, whether it's them doing it or you, but I think they're very feisty, whoever you're dealing with, okay? Whether it's male or female, this person is feisty and um, maybe even a bit petty, <laughs> okay? But I think they do want to reconcile because next we have the Three of Cups. This is about coming together. Again, third party energy here for some. Somebody may be married. Somebody may be in another commitment. All right, but this is them wanting to come together with you and I don't know, celebrate, have a drink, go out to eat, do something here, socialize with you. And for those of you that are dealing with someone who is married, I think that they're not really happy, okay? Because we have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. They could be stuck in a marriage due to financial reasons, okay? With the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Others of you, I feel like this person could have been lying to you, telling you that they were uh, getting a divorce or weren't with their spouse anymore and they actually um, are or were or whatever because we have the world reversed and the death card reversed, okay? So this is about an ending not happening here. So they could have been lying about that, all right? Others of you, this may represent that they don't actually want this cycle to close out with you, okay? The world reverse, it can signify there not being any closure. So some of you, this person may have left and didn't, you know, uh, explain why they left or give you any type of uh, closure to your satisfaction. You may have felt played here by them. 
Maybe that's why the Three of Swords is up there, you know, um, so maybe that hurts your feelings. This can also signify delays or just something moving very slowly. Maybe they live at a distance, okay? The World card can signify, um, you know, distance and travel and all of that. And you also could be dealing with a Scorpio here too, okay? With the Death card in the reverse, you know, this is them avoiding an ending here with you, okay? So... Over here to the uh, right, we have some potential outcome energy. So we've got the Hermit here, Virgo energy, all right? This is isolation, okay? Someone isolating themselves. I feel it's because someone's stubborn, though. I really do, Kathy. I don't know if it's you or this person. Maybe both of you. Maybe it's both of you um, being, you know, too prideful or afraid maybe to uh, reach out. So someone's doing a lot of introspection as well, okay? I think um, maybe some tough lessons were learned here. And someone um, has gained a lot of spiritual wisdom or just wisdom in general from this situation, okay? And I do feel like whoever this is, is healing because we have the five of pentacles in the reverse. So, you know, in the upright, this is about someone feeling abandoned, left out, okay, uh, neglected, and it's reversed. So someone's coming out of that. You know, some of you may have been dealing with depression. It's also what I see, maybe due to finances or lack of um, finances. And, you know, I think you will be coming out of that energy as well, okay, if that uh, resonates with you. Now, we also have the... Uh, four of wands reversed and the ace of wands reversed so this is instability okay guys with the four of wands in the reverse position this is a lack of communication as well okay maybe around a home life or you know maybe even with friends or family or whatever so i don't see a lot of communication for some of you and some of you just may not feel very enthusiastic about this anymore Okay, uh, you know, maybe some delays or blockages here, whether it's, you know, physical distance or just you not opening up here, okay, with the Ace of Wands reversed. And I do see, um, you know, again, some frustration or something here. Just passion not being offered, all right, or communication. Now, some of you, we've got the Ten of Cups, okay, next to the Ace of Cups. So this is about happiness, wish fulfillment, okay, with the Ten of Cups, family life, all of that. And the Ace is about a new opportunity in love. This also can represent um, very healthy self-love too, okay? So the final two outcome cards are um, beautiful. And, you know, for some of you, I feel, like I said, you and this person both may be uh, very stubborn here, okay? It could be because someone is married or in another commitment or because you guys went through a lot in the past, which is what I see for some of you, definitely. It was tough, okay? But I think that um, deep down, both of you actually do want to reconcile, but it's you guys probably would have to do a lot of talking or forgiving, okay, with that Ten of Swords reverse and the Three of Swords reverse, all right? A lot of forgiveness needs to happen as well as explaining, okay? So just to summarize that, I think neither one of you truly want to close this out. Someone's still stuck here and um, it could be both of you, okay, guys? So if this resonated, you know what to do. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Also, um, the bell notification, okay? And if you want insight into your own specific situation, then you can certainly contact me at claritygoddesstarot at gmail.com, okay? I'd love to hear from you and um, I wish you guys the best. Take care.